In this video, I'm talking about the healing mindset or really the right mindset you need to have in order to heal, in order to really thrive in life, in order to be able to adapt to the stressors that you may face and achieve your optimal health and to be able to overcome adversities that you may experience. And so first concept I wanna talk about is really a growth mindset. And this was, this idea of growth mindset was actually developed by a Stanford psychologist, uh, Dr. Carolyn Dweck. And she talked about growth mindset versus fixed mindset. And it had to do with really a growth mindset is somebody who thinks, hey, I can continue to get better. Whatever, you know, I'm, I'm learning or whatever, you know, is going on in my life that I can actually get better and I can grow stronger, more resilient. I can get smarter. I can continue to get better in life. Somebody with a fixed mindset would be somebody that says, well, you know what, this is as good as it can get, right? I, I just don't have talent in this area. I don't, I can't get any better. I'm just gonna show up and kind of do my job and that's about it, right? They're gonna get the, you know, that's, that's all I can do. I can't actually grow and get better. And so what studies have shown is that people with growth mindsets have much higher happiness scores they have much more success in their careers. They tend to be healthier, more stress resilient because they have a constant never ending improvement type mentality. Now, the other big thing is that somebody with a growth mindset has something called an internal locus of control. And a locus of control, this is actually a term uh, developed by Julian Rotter back in the 1950s, it had to do with how you see circumstances in your life. Somebody with an internal locus of control, let's say, you know, you get in a car accident, let's say some bad circumstance happens. That individual thinks, hey, what could I have done better in this situation to bring about a better outcome? What could I do better going forward? How can I improve? How can I make the most out of my life in spite of the circumstances that I'm in? Somebody with an external locus of control, they always look at circumstances and they say, well, it's more of a victim mentality. It's more of, well, because these bad things happen to me, or because this person's being mean to me, or because this person's not allowing me to get to the next step, or allowing me to heal, um, you know, that's why I can't get better. It's because of all of these circumstances or this person's fault. So the, the locus of control goes away from the individual and onto circumstances. It's a circumstance that actually has the power, or it's the individual around them that has the power over what they're experiencing. Somebody with an internal locus of control, they understand I have, I have the power over what I'm experiencing. In spite of the challenges I'm facing, I'm gonna be full of joy. I'm gonna be full of happiness. I'm gonna do the best I can with the circumstances that I'm in. And so obviously, you know, when we look at those two mindsets, we all wanna be in the growth and the internal locus of control mindset. And that's actually what's gonna bring about the best healing. So if we're trying to overcome a chronic inflammatory condition, an autoimmune condition, some sort of major health issue, it's really important that we adopt a growth mindset. And we think about, hey, what in what areas here can I get better? How can I improve my health? And without like an obsessive type of mentality about it or a shaming mentality, we don't wanna shame ourselves, but instead we're just constantly trying to take feedback. And really, somebody with a growth mindset looks at setbacks as a learning opportunity or a learning experience. So let's say you're on the healing journey, you feel like you're starting to get better, and then you have a certain meal and you get food poisoning or you just feel awful after that meal. Or let's say you get in a car accident or something happens that is a major setback, okay? Some people might start blaming that and they might start thinking, you know, I'll never get better, okay? I, you know, I, I'm, I'm feeling bad again, oh, I'm just never gonna get better. Right? And that's kind of that fixed mindset, external locus of control. Whereas the growth mindset says, you know what? I wonder what was in that meal. I wonder if there was something in there that I just didn't respond well to. Maybe I could cook this differently. Maybe it's, it's such and such food. I just, my body just doesn't respond to it. Maybe I'll do an isolation test and see if that's the food that's triggering problems for my body. Okay, so we're constantly thinking about how we can learn from the setbacks and the adversities we face in life. You know, I really believe that God has a great plan for all of our lives and that ultimately life is really about growing, learning, and surrendering our control to His will and continually having a growth mindset, doing our best, right, with our circumstances, but having a surrendered heart to God's will in our life. And, you know, Proverbs 12, 18 actually says, 
The words of the reckless pierce like swords. The tongue of the wise brings healing. And so when we're talking to others, when we're talking to our children, obviously, the way that we communicate can impact their physiology, their stress response, their lives, but also the way that we communicate with ourselves. If we're communicating with ourselves in a reckless way, we are, it's like piercing our body with swords. We're creating trauma and we're impacting our physiology in a negative way. But when we speak words of life, when we are wise with how we use our tongue, we bring healing. So our mindset, the words that we speak, how we look at circumstances in our life plays a big role in our body's ability to adapt, heal, and repair. So a couple practices, a couple exercises I would recommend doing. One is gratitude. Really every day, trying to focus on what you're grateful for. Start your day with gratitude. Okay, you know, there's a saying that says, when you wake up in the morning, you could say, thank you, Lord, for another day, right? Or, or, oh God, what a great day, right? And then there's a saying that says, oh God, another day, right? And so it's really about where's our mindset? Where's, are, are we in a state of gratitude? And so we want to really focus on what we're grateful for as often as possible. It's kind of the antidote for narcissism. It's, a, it's an antidote for kind of a, a self-victimization is gratitude. When we start thinking of ourselves as a victim in life, when we start focusing all of our thoughts on, our, on ourself, on why we can't get ahead, things like that, that creates an inflammatory cycle in our body. But when we start focusing on what we're grateful for, what we're thankful for, even if it's very simple things, that brings down inflammation in our system and creates more of a positive psychology that we can grow from. Prayer, prayer, just speaking out things that, you know, pursuits that you have, communicating, you know, say prayer is communication with God. So communicating um, with the Lord, surrendering our heart to his will, but then communicating our desires. Okay. And, and ultimately, you know, he knows the desires of our heart. And so if they're in line with his will, he's going to move us closer in that area. Visualizing, right? This is key. I mean, athletes visualize constantly. You know, they ask Michael Jordan, like, how, how have you learned to make so many great clutch baskets. And he said, if you, had only, if you only knew how many times I, I've seen myself making those shots, you would understand. He would constantly visualize himself making these key shots in critical situations in games. And so it's kind of the same with us. If we want to heal, we can visualize different areas of our body healing. And, and neuropsychology has shown when we start to visualize, we actually start to create physiological changes within our body. And those physiological changes can have a really positive impact on our overall health and our healing response. So visualize yourself healing, visualize yourself healthy, visualize yourself full of energy, full of life, brain functioning well, and that's gonna help move your body in that direction. And then finally, affirmations. Speak out what you want, uh, you know, as far as how you want your personality to be, how you want your, uh, the way that you handle adversity. Right? If you want to be a more positive person, just say, I'm getting more and more positive every day in every way. I'm more and more grateful every day in every way. Um, I'm getting stronger every day in every way. I'm getting more resilient. My body, my immune system is getting stronger every day in every way. And so we can start to communicate that and communicate it with emotion, and that will start creating physiological changes in our body. Now, that, that alone you know, is, is not going to heal you but that's going to move you in the right direction. And really, when it comes to healing, it's all about momentum. It's all about creating the right momentum and getting things moving in the right direction. Using your mindset to do that is one of the most powerful things you can do on the healing journey. So do that today. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my channel, browse the various videos that I've done on similar topics, and also make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. That way you get notified whenever I put up a new video training. Thanks so much for being a part of our community here, and I really hope you enjoy the videos that we're putting out on a regular basis. Be blessed.